David has an interesting habit of spending money. Once again, a fabulous question. And he spends exactly X pounds on the X the day of the month. For example, he spends five pounds on the fifth day. On a few days in a year, David notices cumulative spending during the last four consecutive days can be expressed as two par m, where n is a natural number. I think about this. What are the possible values of n? Let's say he's, let's take the first four days. One, two, three, four. Adds up to ten. Two, three, four, five. Five plus nine, four, nine plus five, fourteen. Three, four, five, six, eighteen. These are all not powers of two. These are all not the answer. You're not looking for these. Right? But you think about this, 1, 2, 3, 4 adds up to 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, we remove 1 and introduce 5, the total goes up by 4, total goes up by 4, total goes up by 4, so we have 22, 26, 30. Remember, these are all odd multiples of 2, this is 2 into 5, 2 into 7, 2 into 9, 2 into 11, 2 into 13, 2 into 15, None of these numbers will ever be 2 power n. Impossible. You cannot have 2 into an odd number being 2 power n. Straight away, there is no possible value of n. Nothing can be 2 power n. So what can be the possible values of n? No value of n is possible. However, that is not what our choice is saying. Then this n can have more than one value. So obviously, we are missing something. What am I missing? You're missing the point that when you're thinking about an entire month, the dates go in a cycle. So once you hit 28, 29, 30, 31, you don't go to 29, 30, 31, 32. You go to 29, 30, 31, 1. Right? So, so now that could completely change the dynamic of what we are looking at here. So let's think about it. So a month can have 30 days or 31 or 28 or 29 the 30 day month we could be dealing with 28 29 31 or 29 31 2 or 31 2 3 27 28 29 30 we don't worry about and we could have just one we could have one and two we could have one two and three and so 28, 29, 31, we add all of this up, 29 plus 1 is 30, 30 plus 30 is 60, 60 plus 28 is 88, this doesn't work, 29, 30, 1, 2, 29 plus 1 is 30, 30 plus 30 is 60, 60 plus 2 is 62, this doesn't work, 30, 1, 2, 3, this adds up to 36, this doesn't work, the 30 day thing did not work, straight away I can sense that this will work, because we are so close with 62. Right? So, so we could have 29, 30, 31, 1. 30, 31, 1, 2. 31, 1, 2, 3. This adds up to 37. That doesn't work. 29 plus 1, 30. 30 plus 30, 60. Plus 31, 91. That doesn't work. 30, 31, 61, 62, 64. We have a winner here. So 2 power n is 64, 2 power 6 is 64, so obviously this is possible, n could be 6, you still got to eliminate others, 28 day month, 26, 27, 28, 1, because it's this choice, 27, 28, 1, 2, 28, 1, 2, 3, this adds up to 34, we don't have to worry, 26, 27, 28, 1, 27 plus 1, 28, 56, 82, 27, 28, 55, 56, 58, not possible, we don't have to worry about it. And so, n equal to 6 is possible, 7 would take us to 128, impossible, 5 is a possibility, so let's think about 5, so 29, 1, 2, 3, that's the least possible sum, 30, 32, even this takes us to 35. Others, we don't even have to worry. And if it ends up being 64, there's another possibility for 64. No other total is possible. Or the possible value of n is 6, 2 power 6. 
is equal to 64. That's the only possibility. That happens when the four dates are 30, 31, 1. 